never fails. Day before I'm leaving for the 4th of July trip 2023, my rigid sump pump in the basement dies. Thank God I had a watchdog 12 volt battery backup system that I got from Home Depot. That little 12 volt sump pump took care of me for about three hours. Now I went to Home Depot and said, hey, I need this rigid sump pump. I mean, give me a break. It was a $80 sump pump, not a big deal. Home Depot doesn't sell rigid sump pumps anymore. They only sell DeWalt. Now is that my Home Depot? I have kind of a smaller Home Depot in my town. Check that out because that's weird. Rigid used to run Home Depot basically for all their stuff. Now Home Depot's creeping away. And you add in the fact that kind of rigid power tools are tearing that name down a little bit. It just seems a little bit awkward completely because the rigid stuff like that's all Emerson. Obviously the power tools are TTI. What's happening there? That just totally blew my mind. Back on this sump pump deal, my watchdog system is a $250 battery. It's a charger. It's like an alarm module and the pump. So that pump runs continuously for uh, like a timer. Once it goes off, it runs for 30 seconds. And the reason I know that the sump pump went bad is because that 12 volt kind of makes some weird gurgling noises when it's running. So you can hear it upstairs. You go, okay, something's wrong, stone in there, whatever it is. You fix it, but I'm on my third battery on that, which absolutely sucks in four years because they're not cheap. They're lead acid batteries and they were like $180 a piece. Now you can get an AGM battery in the Watchdog brand for $189 and the lead acid is $139. I said, screw it all. I'm going with a lithium iron phosphate battery. I got this off Amazon. These lithium iron phosphate batteries can power anything from trolling motors to RVs, campers, you name it. These things can usually power it. They're not a starting battery. They're going to be more of a long-term slow drain battery, but you can put four of them together in series or parallel. They all have internal BMSs and these things are actually pretty awesome and they work great in just about everything that you could imagine out there and last for an incredibly long time. This should be equally as safe because obviously when you're charging a lead acid battery, you have issues with the off gassing there. This is sealed. You shouldn't have issues with off gassing or anything there. I'm going to have to make a couple modifications. First thing I have to do is because I have this little probe that goes in there to make sure I have water in the battery. I'm going to connect that up to the positive side. That way that alarm that there's no water in the battery won't go off. Other than that, I'm going to use a lithium iron phosphate charger because I don't want to use the lead acid charger that is inside the watchdog unit. I don't want to use the lead acid charger on that AGM battery either. So that kind of made me make up my mind of I'm not buying a whole new set just to get an AGM battery. I'm going to go this route completely and rock out this lithium iron phosphate, which has a warranty. So this technically should last me 10 years. Lithium iron phosphate, if you're not familiar with it, you can charge that and uh, discharge it basically daily for 10 years and you'd only lose the top 20% of the battery, meaning you still have 80% of this battery left. So this is a 10 year purchase rather than a year and a half or year and two month purchase, which I think is huge cost me about the price of two years worth of the current price of lead acid batteries. I'll put a link in the description. This is amazing. Installation, super simple, not much to this. Definitely something for you guys to check out if you're using that watchdog system. I need to know in the comments if you guys have seen the changeover from rigid to DeWalt in Home Depot. That interests me intensely. So leave comments below. I'm going to let you know how this goes. If you have anything to uh, ask over time, feel free. I'll answer this questions in this video for multiple times. Give me a like in this video, subscribe to the channel, comments on the rigid DeWalt thing. What is going on at Home Depot? Have a great day guys.